Inazuma 11 Victory Road is looking to be one of, if not the best Inazuma 11 game. With the recent trailer giving us the news that the original 4,500 characters present in the game will be bumped up to 5,200 characters, as well as the fact that we can create our own character and our own town in the new Bond Alley. However, this came to the cost of the game releasing in summer of 2025 instead of 2024 like it was promised. I'm not here to dunk on level 5, I'm just here to give a cold analysis of where the franchise is at this moment, as well as give my own opinion. So I couldn't find anywhere else to slot this into the video, but whilst writing and editing the script, I got accepted into YouTube's partner program and I'm honestly very happy that people decide to watch my content and what I have to say. If you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe, or even say hi in the comments. This is all for this little section of the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of it. See you all in the next one. So for those of you who don't know or are new fans to Inazuma 11, a quote-unquote new Nintendo Switch Inazuma 11 game has been in development for about eight years. This game would have covered the story of Inazuma 11 Ares, a completely new timeline that acts as a parallel, to the original trilogy of Mark Evans. The point is that this game, apart from having stunning visuals and terrible cell shading, was promised to release back in 2018. Yeah, we're a little bit off of that date. So on screen, you can see a bit of the basic gameplay of the game, which may be familiar to those of you who have played the beta of Victory Road. The long story short of this game is that there were lots of extraneous variables at play, the game wasn't convincing Hino, and so it suffered the delays we have now gotten used to. The game got pushed back so much that the anime for Ares and its sequel, Orion, had finished, meaning that we had a drought waiting for the game. Fast forward a couple of years and oh my god it's 2020. Apart from the real world events that were going on, Level 5 posted on April Fools no less that Inazuma 11 Ares was officially scrapped for a new project called Inazuma 11 Great Road of Heroes. Hino himself posted a video of him playing a playtest version of the game to show the new engine they were using as well as the main character only known as Unmei Sasanami. This one felt like it was the promising one. Level 5 for the first time in years felt like they had a sense of direction. And Emma ripped the bandage off and say we got absolutely nothing until 2021. The only thing that happened around here is that Great Road got completely scrapped as a concept to become Victory Road. Okay, so no biggie, they feel like it's best to change it again, and it's most likely because now they know what they want to do. And this time they said that the game will 100% be out by 2023. In March of 2023, we got probably the craziest trailer in this franchise. In the level 5 vision, we got to see new info on Professor Layton, Megaton Musashi, Decca Police, but most importantly, the closing game for the presentation was their heaviest hitter. Inazuma 11 Victory Road's trailer opens up with a beautiful cinematic, which is animated by MAPPA, the same people who made the Jujutsu Kaisen, Attack on Titan's final season, and Yuri on Ice. This was a crazy opening, but then it's followed by a familiar face, which is followed by the reveal of the fact that it's Mark Evans' son. No biggie, let's just, you know, drop that in there. But then level 5 revealed that the game will have a whopping 4,500 playable characters. At this point, we're all losing it. It's coming out in 2023. I'll wait as much as I have to. I'm just excited for the game. So I just wanted an excuse to talk about this trailer again. So we are now in 2024. And like I said earlier, the game has been delayed till 2025 with about an extra 700 characters being added. This would have been a good thing if it wasn't for the fact that we have been waiting since 2018 for this game. And I'm not trying to villainize level 5, I'd rather the game come out in a polished state rather than the absolute mess of the Nintendo Switch beta. For a majority of the fans, this has felt like a punch to the stomach. For so many years of supporting them, and it feels like they're just laughing at us. Level 5 has quality games, I want to make that clear, but they also have a very small fan base. This same fan base has been waiting for a new game for years. Making some of the casual fans wait will ultimately cause their interest to slowly fade. And for those like myself who have been waiting for all these years, it honestly feels like the game isn't going to come out. The point that I'm trying to make here is, 
this release month, which at the moment of recording is a little bit under 8 months, is their final chance. Their last chance to add all the features they want, all the international voices, if they do decide to go for those, if they want to add localization fixes such as the German, French, Spanish, Brazilian translation uh, errors, if they want to fix it, no matter how it turns out, June 2025 will be the tipping point for the good majority of their fans. I would even go as far to say that if they don't meet that June 2025, the game might get scratched. And that is what I would have thought and probably my mentality leading up to June 2025 if it wasn't for Tokyo Game Show 2024. And I would like to thank Darts on Twitter for providing a translation from an interview that Hino did during this year's Tokyo Game Show. In the interview, Hino says the following, I'm in a mode where I don't want to release a game unless it's as complete as possible, so I get a lot of criticism when I delay it. He then got asked by Torishima, by the way, what's the longest it's taken you for a release? To which he replied, I don't really want to say it, but about 8 years. We all know which game he's on about. And you can really see, if you were to see Hino right now, he has bags under his eyes. This guy is not sleeping just to get this game out. It honestly feels like Inazuma 11 is the game Hino wants to release the most. The one that's caused him so many issues for almost a decade, the one that he's passionately poured his soul into. To me, Inazuma 11 is my childhood, it has accompanied me in the good, the bad and the ugly, and for many others it's the same. I believe when Victory Road releases, we'll see a community that's strongly bonded together, and a game that will get support for more than 5 years. The over 5 years that Hino has spent developing this game for us fans, the months and even the years that it may take for all of us to collect all 5200 plus characters, the ones they'll add in content updates, it honestly feels like level 5 has big ambitions for the game, and I'm going off on a ramble right now, I'm going off script, but it honestly feels like Hino is just ready for it, but he just needs a little bit more time. I know that the game will not disappoint, and for those who are on edge about the franchise, I urge you to wait a little longer for Victory Road to come out. From chapter 1 alone, I can tell that the story will be one of the best, if not the best, in the franchise's history. I don't really have much else to say, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next video. Adios.